Hey everyone, welcome back to Pretty Well. Dr. Angela here with you. Hi, Dr. Patty. So in this video, we're gonna talk about magnesium, why we need it, you know, what it's helpful for in the body and how we can find it in our food and, you know, supplements as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was, you know, both Dr. Patty and I love magnesium. We talk about it a lot if you've watched some of our, you know, former videos. Um, and I'm getting ready to travel again and so is Dr. Patty. And so it's always on my list of what I absolutely take with me when I travel. And so it got us to thinking that this would be a good one to do for this video. So how has your week been? How have you been doing? So I'm actually feeling a little bit under the weather, um, so I'm trying to take a lot of herbs and uh, make myself feel a little bit better. We did do a previous video, ironically, on how to treat colds and flus and boost your immune system. So I'm employing all of those and uh, they do seem to be helping. And as Dr. Angela mentioned, we're both going to be traveling this week. So yeah. I think I've just been burning the candle at both ends a little bit and a little bit stressed and trying to get a lot done but yeah always um, before trips there's so much to do we end up yeah. working a lot not sleeping enough i mean Absolutely. this is what happens and so Absolutely. good that we know what to do yeah <laughs> for sure and as dr angela mentioned if you've watched any of our other videos magnesium has popped up here and there um, and we mentioned it for a lot of different conditions and magnesium is involved in over 300 of our cellular pathways in our body so people don't realize that it's such an important mineral and that it's really necessary. Yeah, and then we're, most of us are deficient. You know, we definitely have kind of a theme going on here in the US, especially where we have a lot of processed food and we eat on the go, and those are not necessarily the foods that are super rich in magnesium. So, you know, it's kind of a double whammy where magnesium is really important for health in general, but then we're not really eating a diet that's super concentrated in foods that would be rich in magnesium. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So some of the things that magnesium is good for, mm -hmm. um, I know weirdly that I've been getting these weird Charlie horses. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're called? The mm -hmm. yeah. weird cramps in my calves. Yep. And, um, so I probably could use a little bit more magnesium. Uh, so they're definitely good for muscle cramps and all kinds of muscle cramps. So yeah. I've been getting those Charlie horses, but it's also good for menstrual cramps as well. Yeah. Um, so any kind of spasms. Yeah, I get, when I'm really stressed, um, I get a little twitch that starts to happen yeah. on my lower eyelid. And so that's yeah. when I'm like, oh, my magnesium levels are yeah. off. You know, funny thing about that twitch, I think a lot of people are like, oh my God, my eye is twitching. <laughs> and it's really a sign that you're run down and overworked. Yeah. And I start to drink a lot of caffeine when I get really stressed and there's a lot no and there's a lot of work to bad do. Bad naturopath. <laughs> just kidding. I'm and just then kidding. <laughs> and then what that does is it shifts our mineral balance. So yeah. I mean definitely waste more magnesium if you're having a lot of caffeine. The other one too we don't always think about is like if you go to a function and you know you're having dinner and you're having a little bit more wine or alcohol of any kind, um, Alcohol is a diuretic, and so you're going to lose more minerals um, and exercise. So when people, you know, sweat really yeah. hard from a hard workout, that's when you can also, you know, use more of your magnesium. And so Absolutely. just repleting. Yes, yeah. definitely. So good for the cramping, and also good for headaches. Mm -hmm. It's a huge. Um, one I don't know for why headaches. I just yelled that. <laughs> good for headaches, um, <laughs> preventing and treating yeah. migraines as well as headaches. Yeah. Obviously, if magnesium alone doesn't heal your headache you know there there's other be, things there's other things to look at but, but those occipital helpful. kind of headaches especially where you've got just really tight muscle tension in the back of your neck it's great for that kind of headache but also hormonal headaches works really mm -hmm. well yeah luckily headaches aren't my big thing but uh, mm -hmm. they do they do help a lot of my patients yeah um, what else what else yeah. does magnesium help well we've been talking a lot in some of our recent videos if you've been watching them about anxiety and stress and nerves and so magnesium is a really calming mineral so if you're stressed during the day you could take a little magnesium mm -hmm. if you can't sleep because you're stressed yeah at so good night. for insomnia mm -hmm. yeah um, clearly I need to be upping my magnesium because <laughs> I'm having leg cramps and I'm stressed from having to <laughs> prep for travel. So I'm definitely going to be increasing my magnesium intake for sure. Yeah. Um, Another thing that magnesium is really good for just kind of bigger picture, um, health is cardiovascular function. Um, so magnesium is one of the nutrients that helps keep a normal heart rhythm. Mm. So people who notice a little bit of like a skipping, you know, um, beat when they're taking their pulse or, um, yeah, sometimes when women go through, um, perimenopause or menopause, there's some hormonal shifts that will cause more palpitations. Magnesium is okay. really good at calming that down. That would be and keep time. in mind, if you're feeling anxious, you can have palpitations as Absolutely. well. So they're all connected. Yeah. Um, and Luckily, you just have to take one mineral, one nutrient. I know, it does so <laughs> much. Uh, so yeah, what else? Um, really good for um, 
cre- increasing energy. This is we true. We don't that. think about this one often, but yeah. yeah, it's really a great one that's needed to up your energy production. So, so if you're feeling a little bit draggy or tired or fatigued, our body actually uses magnesium to create more energy. Mm-hmm. So when we're more stressed, we tend to use up our reserves a little bit more yeah. and um, that depletes our magnesium and it probably contributes to some of that eye twitching and stress and all of that. Yeah, yeah. literally like less energy in the cells for them to do their job. So yeah. 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 So those are the ones I can think of. Is there anything else that's kind of come into mind? Um, it's really also good for bone health. This is true. So people often think about calcium and that's like a um, big ticket mineral that people mm-hmm. think of and they want to make sure they're getting enough calcium and everyone's so concerned about, am I getting enough? Um, they're afraid to not have dairy because they're not going to have calcium. Yeah. But really you need magnesium paired with calcium for that to get into your bones. Yeah. So preventing and treating osteoporosis um, or increasing bone health. So yeah. I, think it's definitely important for that as well. I just had my big aha. The, the reason I use magnesium all the time is because I get constipated when I travel. Oh, so yeah. that, like it, it helps, you know, move the bowels along. So the form of magnesium, you know, we'll put that information in the description box to help you differentiate, but um, magnesium citrate um, would be a really good one for moving yeah. the bowels and so. And then for the mood stuff and mm-hmm. stress and anxiety and even the spasms, you might want to consider magnesium glycinate. Mm-hmm. So that gets into the cells a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Um, So consider the source and the form of magnesium that you're taking. And then, mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Well, for people who have a lot of like muscle tension as well, or like fibromyalgia, those kinds of conditions, also the magnesium malate form is really good for any kind of sore, achy muscles. Mm. Yeah. That's really good to know. Um, Did you know that there were so many different (laughs) forms of magnesium? (laughs) But, you know, it it sounds kind of complicated, but really to put it simply, focus on eating more magnesium-rich foods. Dr. Angela mentioned that in the beginning um, of the video, and 57% of the population is magnesium deficient. It's huge, huge, huge. And a lot of that is because we're not eating enough leafy green vegetables. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you get all heady and confused and overwhelmed about magnesium citrate, glycinate, malate, Go back to the basics. Yeah, go back to the basics. First, just start by eating more leafy green vegetables. Mm -hmm. So chard or kale, spinach, Mm -hmm. anything you like. Whatever you tolerate. Mm -hmm. And then nuts and seeds Mm -hmm. also have magnesium. And... Legumes um, are another source. Yeah, beans, black beans, all kinds of legumes. And then... Avocado. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. And then, and then... <laughs> Why don't you just take over? I'm not feeling well anyway, so I'm going to just let you talk. But one really important one is that if you are craving chocolate, often that is actually a sign that you're deficient in magnesium. It's a huge clue. You know, women mm-hmm. right before their menstrual cycles, it's like, where's the chocolate? And that's yeah. a good call to magnesium. So... Chocolate does have magnesium. That's not a total permission carte blanche to say just eat all the chocolate that you want. But there probably is a reason why you're craving that. Yeah, so, our bodies are very wise, so yeah. pay attention to it what you're craving. doesn't just do stuff mm-hmm. for no reason. It's always trying to tell us things. So those are some really great um, ways that magnesium helps us. Yep. And also, if you're experiencing any of those symptoms, you might be deficient in magnesium. So make sure to start taking some. Yep. And... Hope you are all doing well and cramp-free and stress-free and (laughs) spasm-free. (laughs) Headache-free. Absolutely. (laughs) And thanks again for joining us. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you um, get uh, notifications of when new videos come up. And we'll see you soon. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon.